going. And of course, the number one rule of the blacksmith is don't hit cold steel. There's two things that a blacksmith goes to hell for. One of them is not charging enough money, and the other one is hitting cold steel. You don't talk when you're doing it too, so especially in a contest which I competed a lot for two years, and you might have three pieces of steel that you're in the fire, each one you're doing a different thing to. And so you're constantly booming, booming. You know, it's just really sweet. When you do it every day, you get into a rhythm, real rhythm, you know. And if you notice me doing this, hammering and then coming back, hitting the anvil. You see how my hammer bounces? Well, that gives me some of my energy back. See it bounce? Gives me some of my energy back. Plus, the ringing sound keeps the devil away. But, I mean, that hammer, I've had that hammer for 35 years. And this is hand forged, this hammer. Not by me, but by a world renowned uh, blacksmith. And then it should hit right at the crook of your elbow when you put your arm out. And also your anvil when you're standing up, your knuckles should hit right at the end. So this one's just about the right size for me. So I'm going to take it out. And I want my toe bend, so I'm gonna... I kind of want it to be a 90 degree angle. Uh, I don't want to hit cold steel and go to hell. You'll learn, because we would take when we were first learning, we'd take iron out of the fire and we'd look at it, you know, we'd see, where do I hit it? What do I do? And he'd come by me and say, hit that thing. Yeah. You'll learn. You know, oh, you know, you hit it here. Oh, can't hit it there. You know, hit it over here. Oh, can't hit it there either. How about here? Oh, yeah, that works. And you learn. Yeah. And the old blacksmith said, the only difference between me and you guys, you young bucks, is I can correct my mistakes faster. And that's the key. Off there. And that's another thing, if you make this, if you if you need to make an adjustment, just put it back in the fire and heat it up some more. Or as the old blacksmith would say, get the some bitch hot and hit it. Off a little bit too. See, and so we even it up when we hit it in a certain place. And that's what the old blacksmith meant when he said he knew how to correct his mistakes faster. I just correct 
corrected that just with a couple of blows, as they say. It's all a rhythm, like the rhythm of life, you know. It's what everybody's trying to do in college is, is get into a rhythm, but right now they're in the college rhythm, not their own, but it's a good discipline to teach. Because you're always going to have to be in someone's rhythm unless you work for yourself. And that involves even more of a rhythm because instead of working 40 hours a week, you work 80. And you take your work home with you. Like I would be in the fort sometimes till 10, 11 o'clock at night making shoes for a contest after I'd worked eight hours, nine hours. And then I just hit that one time, maybe another time, and it, then we have even heels. And then this is wax and you put it in there because you know you're sticking it in hot steel and you want to cool it down but you don't want to use water you just use wax and like i said normally i'd do all this in one heat but since i'm out of practice trying to get back into the rhythm we have our aura right eight inches you know somebody stands in front of you and you go like that well when you're forging you're right here, right? So your aura is washing over that metal, right? So when the molecules get excited, they separate. That's why you can bend the metal, right? So the Japanese would say it's either a killing sword, a benevolent sword, a kind sword. And they, well, where do they get that from? From the blacksmith. Because if he's a violent man and he's and those molecules are all separated, his spirit is washing over that metal and then when it cools the spirits come back together and they capture his essence. That coal just melts on there. And that's kind of what you're looking for. Basically.